Thanks for sticking with us on Midwest Access. We have kind of a Halloween theme going on today. Trick or treat, feed your family something good to eat with yes. Aaliyah Lester Fight. She is a registered dietitian with hy V. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank we, you for we having me joking. as always. Yes, it's sweater season now. It is sweater season and boot season. You cannot forget about the boots. I love boots. The boots are important. <laughs> and healthy yes. eating during a time when you might have a little extra candy lying around is important. Right. It is important. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't have a little bit of the candy here or there too. I'm not the dietitian that's going to tell you you can't have candy, although I might joke with you and scare you a little bit because it is Halloween. <laughs> so, but we can have some of that candy, but we just want to make sure that we're balancing it out with good healthy meals sure. for our families. So making sure that the kids are filling up on those balanced meals, maybe before they head out trick or treating. So by the time they get the giant sacks of candy, they're less likely to eat all of it, all of it at one time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that they won't, but they may be less likely to because okay. they already filled up on other stuff. So, but I do have some tips on how sure. to help keep the family kind of on track and healthier during this holiday treat candy sugar season. Um, one is keeping it simple, mm -hmm. especially around Halloween where there's often parties, trick or treating, all that kind of stuff. So doing things like one pot meals or sheet pan, you know, meals, stuff like that. Things that you can just kind of throw all together in one and be done with it. Yeah. There's less cleanup, it's less time spent on cleanup. It's easy to throw together and you can still make something really great and really nutritious. Okay. So keep it nice and simple. Uh, make sure you plan and prepare in advance. That's my second tip. So planning and preparing in advance can really save you time in the moment. So making sure you have, you know, a recipe picked out, making sure you have all the ingredients for it, maybe, you know, prep some of the, the ingredients ahead of time. Sometimes I like to buy some of the things. So maybe, you know, it's canned vegetables sure. or frozen. I love using frozen vegetables, especially like chopped onions and stuff like that. Cause then you're not having to do all that work. You just right. rip and dump yeah. in the pan or the pot. So planning it, you know, kind of around the time that you have will really help you be successful as well. Okay. So, and if you need ideas and stuff like that, you can always come to one of the Hy-Vee dietitians right. for that. We have our meal planning program, that healthy habits menu planning program, and that gives a lot of ideas and helps you prep and plan as well. And do so. you serve the Rochester area? Yes. So I help me and um, a couple other people help okay. cover the Rochester area. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, and then my third tip is to use those leftovers. Yes. So use the leftovers. It's okay to cook in bulk and then use those leftovers to help save time. Sure. So that will make sure you're using up everything that you have and then also save you time not having to cook again and again and again. Yes. Okay. So, Some easy tips. Yes. I mean, they seem easy. Um, we can listen to them. It's, right. Can we implement them in our lives? Right. Um, do you have any tips for kiddos with the candy? Is there any candy that's good or any candy that's really bad? Or just moderation. Now, Cammy, you know I don't say good or bad to I anything. Know, I know. You're trying to trick me with a trick or treat. <laughs> so it's really all about moderation mm -hmm. and you know letting having kind of a a healthier mindset around candy and treats and stuff like that, especially with your kiddos, and just maybe you know saying okay, you could have two pieces, pick your two favorite pieces or something like that, and kind of starting to teach moderation and yeah. portion control and yeah. stuff like that. So. Okay, all right. Any final tips for our folks um, at home? My only other tip would be, you know, strive for balance. So make sure you're following your my plate sure. with the different food groups, protein, carbs, produce, dairy. It'll help fill you up. Okay, perfect advice from Aaliyah Lester Fight. Again, she's a registered dietitian with Hy-V. We have details on our website about how you can contact her if you'd like to learn more and maybe get a little extra assistance. Yes. Thanks so much, Aaliyah. We yeah, appreciate of it. We have to take a break. We'll be right back.